So I just spent 20 minutes scraping all my windows. It's poorly insulated. It's terrible for cold climates and it gets shitty gas mileage. I'm about to tell you why a Jeep Wrangler is the best commuter car. So this is the second Jeep Wrangler that I've owned. The first reason that a Jeep Wrangler is a great commuter car is because the insurance is like stupid cheap. So for my insurance on this, it is $188 every six months. That's less than I pay on my RS6 every month. Because Jeeps are super cheap to insure, it kind of makes up for the gas mileage. Um, other cars are gonna be a lot more expensive to insure, but they're gonna get better gas mileage. So it all kind of, you know, ends up being a wash at the end of the day. So I wouldn't really count that as a flaw. Because they're super cheap to insure, it makes it great for a commuter car. You can put on a bunch of miles and not be paying an arm and a leg just to insure the car. Reason number two, is that there actually can be a lot of storage. You can fold up the back seats and then you have a whole back area that's, you know, a pretty good sized trunk. Or, you know, you can have four people in here, one, two, three, and four, and then you also still have a little bit of room for trunk. The third reason is because they're just fun. You can take the doors off, you can take the top off, and you can even fold the front windshield forward. Uh, I don't know of any other cars that you can do that other than like an old school Land Rover, but I just think that's a lot of fun. It's it's pretty awesome. You get, you know, you get a convertible and an SUV. It's a fun car. It's not, it's not a, it's not a Prius, which is awesome. You know, you are taking a little bit of a sacrifice with and not being as well insulated, but you know, the heaters aren't too bad in these. You actually can stay fairly warm or cool. I mean, if, it, if it's summertime, that's even better because you have lots of ventilation. Reason number four that Jeeps make an awesome commuter car is that they're super cheap to fix. Um, I had a starter go out in this and to have it installed, the, a brand new starter and everything was 250 bucks. Try to find another car that it's gonna be that cheap on. That's a very analog car, which is nice for your mechanics. You know, if, if you're not mechanically inclined yourself, your mechanics are gonna appreciate it because it's a super simple car to work on. You don't have to take off a bunch of plastic pieces just to be able to get to the one part that you wanted to fix. And then you have to put it all back on. You know, it's just a simple vehicle. And so it makes it, it makes it easier to work on. It makes it a lot cheaper for you in the long run. And you know, that's just an awesome reason to, to put on a bunch of miles. That brings me to the fifth reason is that you are gonna be able to drive this thing for hundreds of thousands of miles. I see tons and tons of them that go for 200,000 miles and they don't have a single problem. Mine has 116,000 miles on it and it's actually considered a low mileage car. That's kind of crazy to me. Um, there's just not that many out there that are under 100,000. My buddy has one that's like at 85,000, and that is like the ultimate holy grail. Reason number six that you want to daily drive a Jeep Wrangler is that no matter how many miles you put on it, your Jeep is still gonna hold its value. I mean, I see 200,000 mile Jeeps still going for $8,000. You know, if they're taken care of well, they run forever, and everybody knows that. Everybody knows how much fun they are. Everybody else understands how great of a commuter car they are, and they want them. They hold their value ridiculously. When you buy any car, that's gonna be one of your biggest losses, is the depreciation. So if you can avoid a good chunk of your depreciation on your commuter car, you're just saving yourself a whole bunch of money. So the last reason that I would suggest daily driving a Jeep Wrangler is that they have awesome visibility. The windows are huge. Um, there's not a, a single blind spot, really. I mean, you can see around the entire car, especially when you have the doors and the top off. But I mean, there is no blind spots. Jeep Wranglers, at least the two-door Jeeps, are a super short car. So 
you can parallel park just about anywhere. And the awesome part about that is you can see exactly where the furthest part back is and just about where the furthest part forward is. So um, parallel parking is a cinch. I've never parallel parked with a car that's simpler than this. And you have an awesome turning radius, so that makes it even better. So those are the six reasons why I would suggest using a Jeep Wrangler as your commuter car. Also, one thing to note, I would highly suggest getting the six cylinder. The four cylinder really doesn't get any better gas mileage, but it sucks with the power. It is, it's absolutely gutless, the four cylinder is. The six cylinder has quite a bit more power and they get right about the same gas mileage. So make sure to get a six cylinder if you are gonna. Um, it was pure misery when I had my four cylinder and I will never do that again. Those are my six reasons on why a Jeep Wrangler is the best commuter car. Make sure to go down below, hit that like button if you guys liked the video. Comment down below if you think I missed a car or if I missed a fact about the Jeep that makes it a great commuter car. And make sure to go hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video.